Hey boys and girls, Richie here with Six String Fun. Uh, thank you for stopping by, I do appreciate it. Let's get back to the basics. Uh, something I don't think I spend a whole lot of time on, but I think we should uh, kind of go backwards maybe to keep going forward, depending on where you are in your, your guitar journey right now. So, uh, something as simple as um, holding a pick. Um, you know, I think we kind of take it for granted. I mean, I can't even remember the last time I actually sat down to think about holding the guitar pick. Uh, but what I wanted to do is just show you how I do it, how you can go about doing it. I don't think there's one way that's, you know, like one size fits all, but uh, this is probably one of the more popular approaches or common approaches to holding the pick, whether it's for the acoustic guitar or for the electric guitar. Leave it up to you to decide. Um, and also maybe just kind of walk you through the types of picks that I use. Uh, I don't get hung up on a brand, but... Um, I'm more concerned about just the pick itself. I've obviously, some picks have a little more give than others. If you can see this one right here, uh, this is the, uh, I think it's just really medium uh, 0.70, I think it is. And there's there's a little bend to it, not a whole lot. I kind of like it. It's good for acoustic. It's good for electric. Uh, it's firm enough where I can strum and still pick. For, again, uh, the acoustic guitar, which actually the strings are a little bit thicker in terms of gauge compared to the electric guitar, but I still, um, you know, like this one a lot. If you were looking for something a little more, you know, uh, with more give to it, I'm going to say this is just obviously a thin one. I don't know the exact number or where it is, but, um, you know, that one right there, you obviously got some more give. I tend to like these maybe a little bit more for the acoustic guitar because it does kind of affect the tone a little bit and it kind of just has a nice sound. You can almost hear it kind of flicking off the strings a little bit different. I'm not sure I would use a whole lot for uh, single notes, but uh, that option is there. So, if, and again, everything from the, the pick itself will affect your tone. I know uh, in terms of using, say, an electric guitar and looking to get different sounds, different tones, we're all, you know, worried about the distortion pedal, the chorus pedal, which makes sense. But everything from the pick to the string gauge to all these little different things will affect your tone as well. Uh, but kind of getting back to, you know, what I've got here, really, as far as the pick itself, uh, you know, I know it seems straightforward for us that maybe have played or have been playing for a while. Um, you know, what I tend to do is I, I just really kind of keep my hand, if you can see it, um, it just really, I just kind of take my, my, my thumb and I'm closing it over the hand right here, right? And what I'm doing is I'm just kind of placing the pick in there and covering it up. That's all I really do, um, you know, if you can see that. So just that right in there, let it sit in there. And typically what I have happening here is a little bit more than half of the surface of the pick is covered by my thumb. So I'm not doing this, you know, or it's, cause then you can never really play it, but I'm also not leaving it all the way out here because um, you don't have as much control and you don't have as much grip. And I don't hold the pick super hard and I don't hold it super loud, I'm right in the middle. So um, this is just you know how I typically hold it. If I hold it super tight, and I'm not strumming harder, it's just basically the pressure I'm giving the pick does make a difference. So from my normal picking, you know, strumming pattern, and if I hold it really hard, that makes a big difference. And even if I hold it super light, that it's almost ready to fall out of my hand. So um, I try to keep it somewhere in between so that way if someone did hit my hand, it might come out, but it's not super tight and it's not super loose either. So keep that in mind. And all I'm doing there is just covering it up. I take the fingers, my thumb and, four, and uh, um, you know, pointer finger, and I just put it in there just like that. That's really it. Now you might see people like, you know, especially like Eddie Van Halen, especially with certain parts of his soloing uh, with the, the rapid, um, you know, picking pattern, he would actually probably just take it, two fingers and the thumb, just to kind of get a little more, um, you know, motion using the wrist a lot more. But I think, you know, in terms of strumming, you would see more of this. So again, it's not a one size fits all type of thing, but that's how I do it. Um, you know, give it a shot. Let me know if that works for you. Any questions, let me know. But don't overthink it, just kind of, Really, hold it by the end, put it right in there. Your thumb's gonna cover it up almost about 50% of the surface, maybe a little bit more, and off you go.
All right, hopefully it helped you out. Thanks for stopping by, appreciate it.